Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video again on my channel today we have episode 2 of our Juventus career mode on FIFA 19 as you can see here guys we're starting off with some transfer deals uh, thank you for the, the suggestions in the comment section below uh, in the last video Wendell was a, a left back option which I decided to go with because I was looking at the um, backup left back and I think it's like a 60 something rated or like a 70 rated youngster so I thought um, I'd bring in Wendell. I offered in like I think it was like 13 million I think I can't remember now but um, I uh, I got him as a rotational player I I'm kind of glad I did because obviously Alexander is going to be playing every game or starting every game so I'll be using him for like the cups. And like maybe in like a, a substitution late on in a game to see out a game, but I was I offered him uh, fifty nine thousand uh, a week, but he obviously didn't want that and changed it. But I was happy to do that because I, I wanted to sign him. So uh, the next player we sign or we try to sign is uh, Rabio from PSG. Now he was another one that was suggested down below, and um, I think it's a great. Um, a great a uh, addition to the squad if I do pick him up. I offered 35 million because obviously he's worth 29.5, and I thought they were just gonna be like, oh, give me 65 million. So that's why I went with um, <clears throat> 35. Uh, they accepted it straight away, so I probably did overpay a little bit, but I don't mind that because as you'll see later on in the episode, he is a key signing as um, something happens. So you need to uh, you need to. Uh, Stay in the video and uh, watch what happens. So um, I offered him an important team role because I didn't want to give him crucial because I I don't want him to. S I don't know if he'll start every game because obviously we do have like a we have a good few centre mids at this club. Um, obviously wanted him for five years because he's only 23, so I want to get keep him for as long as possible. Now he's on 80 grand a week, so I was like, all right, I'll, I'll bump it up to 85 and give him a hefty um, <coughs> chunk of money for a signing bonus. And um, he actually accepted it straight away, so. He may be overpaid. Now, this signing <coughs> is one of my personal uh, signings. Um, I just thought, you know, I'm, I'm going to push Ronaldo. I'm going to change formation and push Ronaldo out to a left attacker mid with Dybala and Costa. And then I'm going to have Morata up front. So, I went in with a £40 million bid. I know I probably overpaid for him, but they wanted a 5% sell-out clause. Or sell-on clause, sorry. So, I was happy to give him that. I, di I didn't really think anything much of it, but... Um, yeah, uh, he he's he's a good player, I think. This uh, this FIFA, but I haven't really used him as much. So obviously, rotational player. That's happy days for me because that means I'm allowed to use Ronaldo up front if I wanted to, or potentially use Mandzukic. So that's happy without him moaning, which is good. Five year deal because <coughs> he's obviously only 25. So. I think uh, that that's a good uh, good contract length. Now, in terms of uh, his wage, I gave him 140. I gave him a bit of an increase, and then I gave him 1.1 million bonus just because why not? So there are all the signings. I was looking at Weyer, but I don't think I'm going to be picking him up as a youngster. So I'm going to show you uh, the rotations of what I've just done in the squad. So obviously that youngster comes out, puts Murat on the bench. Murat goes into the starting lineup. Manzuk is now on the bench. I then. Um, Went to find Rab uh, Wendell. I put him on a set of bugs. I don't think I'm going to be using him this FIFA or this career mode. Sorry, I, I, he's just too old. I think even though he's 84 rated, I just don't. I just don't think he's up to scratch. But yeah, here we go. I, I was I, I dropped my Tweedy because I think Pjanic is uh, better. But that doesn't mean my Tweedy will not be playing many games because I'm going to drop Kadira down because uh, I just I just think my Tweedy's better than him. Kadira is a bit uh so. That's what I've done with the squad. Um, obviously, here's what I was talking about about before. Pjanic out for four months with a training injury. Uh, a training injury has occurred. Pjanic suffered a broken tailbone. Literally, what are the chances of that? Four months as well. So I, I'm lucky I did sign Rabio because that means Matuidi goes into the team and then that means Kadira comes back onto the bench. So <clears throat> it's like... It's really annoying because Pjanic is one of the best midfielders we've got at the club, so it, it kind of hurts. But as you see here, guys, Supercopa um, final. Obviously, it's the league winners and the League Cup winners playing against AC Milan at home. 
this should be a good game. Two big teams, especially on ultimate difficulty, it's not going to be a hard task for me. Uh, I really like this, uh, the start of Korea, and now they've got all these new like animations for like uh, warm-ups and stuff. It's a really nice addition to the um, to the career mode. Um, but if you are enjoying the episode so far, or you are enjoying the series, please please leave a like on the video. Comment your thoughts on the video down below. Anything you want me to improve, add the length of the videos if they're too long, too short. Uh, any more signings? Because I might potentially pick up some more signings before the end of the window. So yeah, and also make sure to subscribe with post notifications on. So as you can see there, that is the trophy. It does look pretty nice, to be fair, just for a pre... It's basically a pre-season cup, in a way. But yeah, normally I don't really like watch this because it's a final. I thought I'd uh, just roll it out and uh, show you guys what um, the player handshakes and stuff. But I think from last year they've changed it, in a way, from certain players giving handshakes. But anyway... Jumping into the start of the game, I, I kind of wanted to leave the first like two minutes of gameplay because um, I, I I I did all right like keeping possession from kickoff. Obviously, kickoff you you should be keeping possession, but um, I I really like this formation. Obviously, I use it literally every FIFA for every career mode near enough. But Matuidi gets in here, great ball in. He, his touch was a bit heavy. Tried to roll it underneath the keeper, uh, Pepe Reina, with a f low finesse shot, but unfortunately that wasn't uh, the case. Ronaldo tries to get him with a shot, but it gets blocked. They clear it. We move on. Douglas Costa gets the ball from the header, from the keeper's poor kick, and uh, they make a nice ball over the top. I think, I don't know who that was. Uh, Castillo, I think. He used to play for Valencia or Villarreal. I think it was Villarreal. Um, here we go, edge of the box. Now, I thought this was a good tackle from a 3D. He poked the ball first, but the ref clearly didn't think it. Uh, Kalanoglu is on the free kick and um, he brings out it's Castillo again he dummies it Kalanoglu over the wall what a save from Chesney that was because that was going in the top bins it was going in the top bins great save from Chesney and um, we move on into the 21st minute Sandro's picked up the ball I think he plays it down to Ronaldo he does Ronaldo drives on with that pace he has and the long strides he has I cut inside Look for Dybala. Dybala uh, dribbles it past, chips it into Morata, and it's a good save from uh, Pepe Reina. Um, I probably should have uh, done like a time finish there, try and get a better shot off, but we move on, and Reina clears it off from the corner. Nothing came from the corner. Corners are a bit iffy this FIFA. I'm not really keen on them, to be honest, but I need to work out what the best way to take a corner is. But um, we get the ball here. Uh, Dybala slides it through to Morata, he's one on one near enough with the keeper, takes it across and then BOOM into the bottom corner, Our debut, a debut goal for a debut uh, player uh, in Alvaro Morata, back at Juventus, scoring the goals because obviously at Chelsea he's not really having the best of times is he, but he's bagged his first goal of the season and that is um, a really really well worked goal the, the build up play is really nice that's what another thing I like about Juventus their build up play is so nice uh, in terms of like loads of players getting involved one touch two, two touch passing and we get a bit lucky with this goal to be fair but even if the defender uh, didn't block it I think it was going in the bottom corner anyway and obviously Ronaldo standard celebration 2-0 up in the 43rd minute we're doing alright here uh, obviously this is ultimate difficulty now this this game it at stages, before I started scoring, it, it, it you could tell it was very hard. But then it just started to like ease off. But I don't know, I don't know why. But approaching half time, whipped it in by Cancelo. Ronaldo tries to flick it across the box. But that's half time anyway. So we're two 0 up in the in the cup final here. So obviously it, it, we're doing good. We're doing good. I, I'm liking people like Costa, Ronaldo. Obviously, Ronaldo, he's good in every FIFA. But I'm liking their link-up play and stuff. Like I said before, like the possession and link-up play and passing is really good with Juventus. Now, as you can see here, Costa plays a nice one-two. Oh, Mar uh, Morata plays a nice one-two of Costa out to Ronaldo. He um, scoops it back across, whips it in. Morata's there. Lovely header into the bottom corner. Beating the centre back there, and obviously the standard celebration from Alvaro Morata. Really nice turn from Ronaldo there. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Alesco? No, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, Fate Rabona. Fate Rabona, that's it. <clears throat> and I decided to take off Rabio for Kadira just to strengthen the midfield, uh, like a defensive player, because obviously we're 3 0 up now. I don't want to slip the lead. And Rabio didn't play bad, it's just I, I didn't want to take um, Matuidi off. What a ball from Morata there to Ronaldo and. It's a penalty, and it is also a red card to Abate. Obviously, it, it, I, th I thought from the first angle he got the ball, 
but obviously he, he clearly didn't. Uh, I brought on a couple of subs. I think I brought on Wendell and Bernadache. Yeah, they're the ones I did bring on. I wanted to give it to Morata as he he's on the hat trick. I wanted to give it to Morata. Aiming it down to the bottom right and boom, slots it. Sending Pepe Reina the wrong way. Morata, for hat trick hero on his debut for Juventus. Back at the club. Hat trick. There's nothing more you could ask for him. Nice little dance there to celebrate his hat trick. We're 4 0 up now. We've cruised through this game so far. And if I'm being honest, it, it wasn't much of a task. But um, they had a corner in the 93rd minute. Chesney claims it. And that means we are the champions of this cup. Morata there, the number nine. Six attempts on goal. He scored three. He did quite well for me in this first game. Getting the match ball there, obviously. Picking up the hat trick. I, was that a perfect hat trick? I don't think it was. was no, nah, it wasn't because there's penalties. Anyway, Chiellini, the captain at the back there, ready to pick up the trophy. Obviously, the players. Now, when when I first watched this and they celebrated it, I, I think they've kind of like nerfed, or not nerfed, or like changed the way players celebrate because obviously this cup's not really like a major one. So, like, the players don't really celebrate properly. Like, they look, they just stand there. <laughs> it's weird. But I reckon if we win like a Champions League or a League Cup, it'll be interesting to see what um what the difference is between like the celebrations. Cause I normally when like you win a cup in career mode, like all the players jump around and stuff like that. But either way, a 4-0 victory against AC Milan, who's, he, they're probably going to be the one of the biggest clubs like contending with us, apart from like Napoli, you know, Lazio, uh, Inter, and teams like that. But obviously. Great result for us uh, to kick off the season. Obviously, we did we were unlucky in the final in the pre-season tournament uh, against PSG, but we did go on to pick up a bit of silverware in the uh, Supercopa um, Cup. So, moving on into the first league game of the season against Chavo or Chavo. I don't know how you pronounce it properly because the commentators say it differently. Um, <coughs> I stuck with the same lineup from that game because obviously. Uh, we did really well so we move on into the highlights first highlight is in the 23rd minute Dybala gets the ball from a Tweedy after a break from the kickoff into Rabio. Rabio down to Ronaldo Ronaldo's driving on forward he takes in the heavy touch cuts inside a little bit and finesses it into the bottom corner really really nice goal there from Ronaldo and he does the joint celebration with Morata um, I really really did like that goal uh, Typical counter attack from uh, from a, a pacey and uh, aggressive team. Uh, Ronaldo, cool as you like, bottom corner. Uh, I really liked how he, he, he did that big touch. I didn't mean to. He did the big touch when he drived and then he cut inside, finessed it in. And <coughs> I haven't edited it down because, as you can see here from the kickoff, they've literally they're literally doing one touch tick attack attacker passes, lays it off, and he just drills it into the top corner. I'm pretty sure there's a time finish shot because that just Chesney was never saving that. I just I just don't get it. It's, what a goal! Um, it was a really really nice goal straight from the kickoff right into the top corner, and that's one one <laughs> one one. Literally two minutes after we scored to put us one 0 up, they've scored now. Again, I've saved it again because from kickoff we drive we drive on with Dybala and Douglas Costa. He, he plays back to Matuidi. Matuidi out to. Cancelo cuts inside, plays it again to Rabiol, into Ronaldo, into Morata. Morata lays off um, Dybala, and oh, I honestly thought that went in. That's why, I, I, whew, really good chance there from Dybala. They play a great ball over the top from one of the centre backs, but Bonucci intercepts it not once but twice. Cancelo pings it into Dybala. He pings it out to uh, Douglas Costa, into Morata, back to Costa. And uh, he plays it up to Morata. The defender, he, ma he made a quite bad run there. He lays it off to Ronaldo. And what a goal that is, by the way. Morata to Ronaldo. What a goal. First time, I was like, what do I do here? Because no like this FIFA, the shoot normal shooting, just pressing circle, is, is really bad. And I, I'm, I'm struggling to score goals. But I was, you know what? Ronaldo's just got good shooting. Let's just hit it. And he, he just pinged it in the top corner. So, uh, 59th minute here. Cancelo picks it up. Uh, from Morata, plays it into Costa, Costa back to Morata, Morata plays Dybala into Morata again, Morata runs inside, plays it to Matuidi, out to Rabio, lays off Ronaldo, Ronaldo cuts back across again, Morata, no Dybala's there sorry but the defender got there in front of him so we do get a corner now, whipped in by Dybala I think that was and Rabio kind of just like stands there and the, obviously the defender just clears it but he just stood there, even though I was holding that on circle, but it just didn't didn't it just didn't recognise it, I guess. 
Uh, Rabiot's got the ball here again. Lovely little ball into Bernadache. And I thought this was creeping in. I thought it cre crept in, but it didn't. Really nice uh, attempt there from Bernadache. Again, 82nd minute, near the end of the game. Sandro cuts back. Ronaldo, first time for their shot. How has Ronaldo missed that? How has he missed that? And the keeper again. The keeper, the keeper's like kicks and stuff that I've played against so far in this career mode. Every time I get the ball, I just count it like this and it comes back up. Ronaldo, uh, time finish shot. I think that was into the top corner, but obviously, keeper got there in front of him. Uh, we get a corner again, approaching the 90th minute. Uh, good header from Mandzukic, who was really good when he came on. I, I was impressed with him. But um, that is full time of this game. We do take a 2-1 victory against Shevo uh, away from home, which is very good, picking up all three points. But that, guys, is the end of the episode. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. Comment your thoughts down below on the video, what you thought about it, what I need to improve, all that good stuff. Any players, again, like I said before, if you want me to sign, uh, I, I might make a few signings if I, need, if I feel like I need to or if the players are good enough. Also, subscribe if you are new around here or you're enjoying this Juventus career mode. I will have plenty more different career modes and episodes of this one coming in the future. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out. Peace.